huge black Hebrew population over there. And so I asked my friend over in Israel to keep a look at it, keep tabs on it, and let me know if this population starts to make any kind of contact with the group that Raymond Watkins is trying to start over here. And, of course, he's, he's heading up this black Israel, black Hebrew group. Speaks out of both sides of his mouth, says it's for black Hebrews, and if you're white and you're asking if you can join it, he'll tell you yes. <laughs> uh, has uh, the protection, has been in contact with the Black Panthers, uh, who have offered him protection from dress threats or whatever. And you know, I think I, I, I spoke about all this last time I did a show, and, and you know, more just faith in the Most High. You know, you don't need the Black Panthers. I got white angels, you know, and everybody's got angels. That's that's a child of the Most Highs. You know, I had death threats all the time. I got death threat yesterday. And uh, this coming out of Candace Freeze's material, calling her people to send them me, send me an email. And I look back at her material where she and she didn't even send them, tell them to send me an email. She says to send them a copy of the email she's writing about me. This Candace Freeze is the official channeler for Sananda and Matria and Jermaine. Uh, mentioned to me in her last posting. You can read it at fourwinds ten dot com. That's fourwinds one zero dot com. And so since then, I've gotten quite a few of really nasty emails from people. Uh, so, yeah, this peace-loving New Age movement thing really shoots itself on the foot. They always just prove you're right. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm going to read some of that. I'm going to go through some of that here in a little bit. Uh, listener call in line 260-356-2611. Go ahead and give me a call. Uh, I've got a lot of information here tonight, so I'm not in a rush to run through anything. If you want to call me, go ahead and call. I don't think I'm doing a show tomorrow, Aliens and Things. It's my understanding that Out of Time Radio is dissolving. And then I looked at their website tonight, and it looked like they were showing reruns of old shows. So I don't know what's going on with them. I'm not planning on having a, a show tomorrow. Uh, so if they do call, uh, we'll be having a show tomorrow. It's my understanding that the whole network is dissolving. So it will just be here uh, on Monday nights now, 8 to 10. Uh, let's see. Another thing I want to bring up before I go into this. Um, this is a listener email, and you can contact me at sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com. You can send me an email, and I'll read it during the show. You can send me an IM. Uh, via Yahoo Messenger, Sherry Talk Radio at yahoo.com. Uh, I won't read your screen name or name over the. I'll just read your question or answer. And, and don't IM me to start a conversation, folks. I get this all the time. People <laughs> send me an email, hi, Sherry, and they want to talk, and I'm in the middle of a show. If you have a question, just pop it up. Just pop up a question or comment. Don't try to engage me in a conversation. It's not going to happen. Uh, some of the emails I've gotten uh, from a listener. Does the movie War of the Worlds uh, created to condition us for the oncoming alien invasion? Uh, does it condition us to be fearful and prepared? And the whole thing with uh, this is I haven't seen the movie War of the Worlds yet. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do imagine if it, if it is going to condition you for some kind of alien invasion, that's the whole intent of the movie. Uh, but there's a condition to be fearful and prepared. You know what? It's kind of a two-edged, <coughs> two-edged sword because people say you're fear-mongering. And I know Candace Freeze and her gang at the New Age try to say that I'm fear-mongering. Well, you know what? I'm not fear-mongering. I'm preparing the Lord's people for what's coming. The Lord's in the last days. We're going to be days of death and destruction and chaos. I don't see any peace and love in 70s and 60s uh, cult growing here besides theirs. You know, the Lord said it was going to be chaos. It's going to be a time of mayhem and death and destruction and, and pain and murder and everything you can imagine. And so being aware of this and being prepared for it and warning the Lord's people of it is a lot different than just, you know, fear-mongering. You know, that's their way to, to, to try to shut you up and not prepare people for what's coming. They want to believe that peace and love are coming. And this is a new age crowd, folks. They're on way too many psychedelic drugs. Uh, they need to get into reality. They're the ones worshiping matriots. Now, they've bought into this, we're all love, and the God of the universe is a tall gray alien who calls himself Christ Michael. Uh, he always has several names, though. I mean, they can't really decide just on one name. If you follow this guy long enough, 
<laughs> have several names they go by. <clears throat> the name of the day. Uh, and so, yeah. And we're not spreading fear. We're spreading preparedness. <coughs> Preparing the Lord's people for what's coming. Uh, so yeah, don't get into the, don't get into the, oh, they're spreading fear mongering. No. It's not fear mongering, it's preparedness. Another question from a listener. Have you seen anything in the Bible code about an attack on the Dulce base in order to free the people? Do you think if enough people got together, they could possibly have a chance against the Greys and Reptilians? <coughs> Maybe dropping some orgone before going in might help. <coughs> Dying here. I'm, I don't have air conditioning on this weekend. I'm burning up in the sand. Uh, but that is getting fixed. That'll be nice. But until then, I'm, I'm dying in the seat here. Uh, I haven't seen anything in the Dulce base about an attack uh, as far as the Bible codes go. Uh, I've revealed the Dulce base, what the Bible codes said about it. Uh, I've often wondered if the Lord will reveal or will release the people at the Dulce base. I think I've called for prayer uh, in spiritual warfare, prayer against it. I know that the Lord has called up his prayer warriors uh, to come up against that base in prayer. I do believe a lot of souls have been set free, but of course you're set free when you're dead. So, <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on with Dulce Base right now at this point. He had me in that area for a while. Some of you aren't familiar with the Dulce Base. It's a base at the Four Corners area. Uh, it also extends out to the Arculated Mesa of Dulce, New Mexico, underground base. And it's a grazing nest. It's a joint human and alien base dominated by graves and reptilians, and they have thousands and thousands of humans held prisoner there. And they use these pris uh, these humans as experiments in food. And so I, I exposed that on my website. You can read about it. <coughs> I first heard about it from Branton, a good friend of mine, and then uh, found it and saw it in the Bible codes, uh, and then the stuff the Lord revealed to me about it. And so it's kind of a mixture of sources. Uh, in that article I wrote on the prisoners of Dulce Base. You can also go to sherrytalkradio.com and read it in my article section. Uh, next question, another question. Does being a hybrid, let's say an indigo or star child, make you a bad person? Will God accept them into heaven if they use their abilities for good? And, you know, I, I'm not one of these people that, that make a, you know, especially when, when approaching the Lord about this whole thing with aliens and, and you know, anything that ever comes to me is, is preach the word to all the creatures, <laughs> you know, human animals, I don't know. Uh, why would they, you know, why was that verse put in there? Why do they need to say preach the word? Why do they add uh, to preach the word to all, to all creatures? I do believe aliens even themselves can be reinstated. Uh, they don't need redemption and forgiveness like mankind does. Uh, but they can be reinstated, and I think that these hybrids uh, are somewhere going to fall in between redemption and reinstatement, uh, those that seek the Most High, uh, if, they, you know, if they even can, because I know that, that when you get into some of, this, some of these hybrids that have no souls, and forget it, I mean, some of them don't even have souls. Some hybrids that are created... Uh, don't even wouldn't even have the ability to accept the Lord as their Savior. On the other hand, some of you consider being a hybrid just being one with born with contaminated blood, and so there's a big difference in, in that. Contaminated blood can be cleansed by the blood of the Lord. Yeah, you sure this blood cleanses us from everything. Uh, it can can cleanse you from contaminated blood. I mean, you know, unless you're of the serpent seed line, you wouldn't even want to accept the Lord anyway. Uh, but if somebody has a consciousness of the Lord and they want to accept the Lord as their Savior, then only the Spirit could draw them to begin with. And so, yes, yes, they could be redeemed by the Lord because only His Spirit can draw them. Um, next question is, uh, 